Ah, I feel like a new man. <laughs> yeah. Now that that's behind me, it's time for a uh, for a shave. Subscribe and click like to get more of the same. Let's look at these shavers. So I'm off grid. Uh, I'm running on two solar panels. It's quite cloudy today, but I'm keeping up with the uh, production of energy. Uh, it's really fun to be off grid. When it comes to shaving, you have a lot of choices, of course. You know, uh, you could wet shave, you could use a straight, you could use a blade, multi blade, five blade, ten blade razor. Um, but I like electrics, and uh, I had been using. I had been using a, a home AC Norelco shaver, and what I would do is I would uh, plug in an inverter, just a 150 watt inverter, into the 12 volt outlet, and use the trailer battery to power that. And I plug in the shaver into the uh, AC outlet here. Um, these things are notoriously inefficient. You're stepping up from 12 volt to 150 to 120, 112 volts. That's not free. Uh, it uses a lot of 12 volt energy to do that, but you can do it. You know, it works fine uh, But in my case, I wanted something a little simpler. So I found these Ace these uh, shavers they work on double A's um, Which is pretty cool for me because I have a lot of double A's I'm rigged here for charging double-a batteries uh, with these solar panels I could just go on indefinitely uh, off-grid so these shavers were uh, two considerations one is the uh, the Norelco rotary type. It only has two blades uh, rather than the three that a home shaver would have. And this one is more of the, uh, it's a double uh, cutting, double blade cutting surface. So this model is the uh, ES4815P. I paid a little more for this. I ordered it from Japan took uh, a long time to get here but uh, they you know it was worth the wait and this one I got it on eBay for maybe tw under twenty dollars and uh, that one works pretty good too uh, they both work about the same I think uh, I would say that the uh, Panasonic shaves a tiny bit closer if that's a concern for you they'll both get you clean shaven and they both run on double A so let's give them a whirl so I installed a mirror Hello, uh, a mirror here on the trailer for uh, for this very purpose to uh, just check how I look when you're out here for a while You know you can get pretty grungy and you, you want to look a little better. You don't look like a bum uh, When I'm clean shaven nobody mistakes me for a bum. They think I'm uh, a Sophisticated teardrop trailer guy. So uh, let's give it a shot. Here is the uh, Philips Norelco double uh, a batteried job uh, I'm not oh here. I'll open it up so two double A's. I like that because I can replace double A's very easily in the field. They're unlimited. I do not like built-in batteries on anything, even though sometimes you have to do that. You have to accept a product with a built-in battery. It allows me to change them. You know, batteries can only be recharged so many times, to state the obvious. And after that, you don't want to throw away the device or send it back uh, for a $100 uh, battery replacement. This, I'm using Eneloop rechargeables unlimited battery supply no matter where I am so uh, I'm going to turn it on you can hear the rotation speed of the blades is not real high it's not like a home razor it's a little slower but it does shave now in testing this at home and out here in the field I've noticed that with two blades it takes a little longer to shave with this thing. You got one third less cutting. But, what the rush? So, yeah, it's cutting pretty well. I have a medium beard. It's not a not a giant beard, you know. It's not one of these uh, big uh, Neanderthal uh, bush things, you know, thigh scraper. It's uh, good. But uh, this gives a pretty close shave. I've only used it on my face. Okay. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Now you have uh, this thing opens up, and there's all my shavings. 
Okay, so uh, you have two rotary drive shafts and you have the blades here. They come apart, if you're familiar with Norelco's, they come apart like a lot of Norelco's. It's quiet. This is a quiet shaver compared to some other ones. Uh, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. So, so I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, you can't beat the price. It comes with a little cap for it. it. Does not come with a case. I put it in a plastic bag to protect it. So, uh, pretty nice option. Uh, I like it better than what I was doing with the inverter. Now let's take a look at the, uh, the Panasonic. The Panasonic comes with a, uh, a handsome velvet case uh, to take care of it, or a velvet light case. And it has a uh, plastic protector for the blades that comes off. And you have dual cutting heads. And the claim to fame on this, uh, this foil shaver, is that it uh, it shaves close now there's two double a batteries in the bottom you you twist this to unlock it and then you slip in two double a batteries again i'm using enna loop rechargeables and uh they're working fine so i'm going to turn it on you can hear it's a little more energetic sound these are going back and forth really fast and it's uh, not objectionably loud it's okay it's louder than the Relco, but not bad at all. Oh yeah, that's really trimming away, boy. What a... Pretty good. You know, my face is not so irregular. So it's, uh... I don't have too much problem with any kind of special shaving needs. Yeah. I, I would deem this one slightly quicker than the Relco, but again, I'm not in any hurry and it doesn't really matter. So at double the price of the Norelco, this one's uh, shaves pretty close. Yeah, you can get a pretty close shave on this. If you've got a date or something, you know, you meet some other camper. This will give you a nice smooth face to rub up against, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, um, this one, you press the, uh, the foil lid and out comes the, uh, the lid for cleaning. And that's all there is to it. A couple of quick breaths. And to put it back on, you simply put this back on. And it's a pretty nice solution. Um, so, oh, it has a one button push here where you can take off uh, the entire lid for cleaning. This comes with a small brush. This comes with a small brush for cleaning. Yeah. Okay, so um, there you go. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. I'll put the cap back on. There we go. So it's pretty foolproof shaving out here. Uh, I don't know how many shaves you get out of a pair of batteries. It doesn't matter to me. I, I recharge my own batteries out here with solar panels, and it's uh, unlimited for me. Uh, it keeps all those uh, AA batteries out of the waste stream, which is a consideration. So these are uh, the two solutions I'm using. I plan on using them a lot more. I'll probably only take one with me, and uh, it gets me closer. They do not have neither of these shavers. Neither of these shavers has a, um, a trimmer for your sideburns or nasal hair, ear hair, or wherever your hair is growing, you know, whatever else you want to shave. Uh, it doesn't have a trimmer for those. Um, I don't find that a problem. You know, I can just take out my uh, something else and trim my sideburns or whatever. I still carry a, uh, a, dis a uh, disposable razor, uh, wet razor. I don't think either of these are wet shaving, and that doesn't bother me at all. I'm a dry shaver uh, with the electric. So I do carry a, uh, a disposable razor in case I need to, uh, in case I have to use it. For instance, if I let my beard grow for a couple of weeks, uh, if I'm out on the road or something like that, and I let the beard grow, um, I would want to uh, maybe take that off with a, uh, a wet razor. 
and get rid of the beard and then I can go back to uh, to dry shaving with these things so these inverters uh, a word about these inverters not like $20 on eBay um, or Amazon very cheap uh, this particular one's 150 water um, it does what it's supposed to do it produces modified sign electricity that's a converts from 12 volt DC to AC modified sign so you have to do a little research and get you know read about this um, AC electricity from the grid is full sign it's not modified sign this is an inexpensive way to try and duplicate that it's not perfect if you have a device, uh, electronic device with a timing circuit in it, a computer timing circuit in it, this can uh, can potentially not work or damage the device. So I've used it for a couple of years on electric shaver and a water pick, a Norelco electric shaver and a water pick, and the Norelco electric shaver, it smelled a little funny when I was using it on this. It worked for a while. Uh, but I, I, you know, I only use it for a few minutes uh, to shave. Uh, the water pick, water flosser, died, and I think both of those things, the life was shortened because of the using it out here on this modified sign. In a pinch, it's fine, but as a regular usage, which I was doing, uh, I don't think it's maybe the best idea for me. This is anecdotal. It's my experience. It's not based on science, but I've done a lot of reading. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of jerks out there writing stuff too, but I've done a lot of reading and uh, supposedly that could be a symptom of using one of these. So the solution then is to get a full sign inverter. Now I have two or three full sign inverters. I don't take them, they're a little large and I, I just don't have much of a need for it. Um, you know, so, um, I could bring those. They're probably maybe this big compared to compared to this big, right? So they're a little larger. And uh, here, let me see if I can do that again. They're about that big. So a little larger, a little heavier. They produce, you know, a better signal, and they cost a lot more. Those are about a hundred bucks each. The ones that I got. Uh, I experimented with them. They seem to work just fine. They produce very good electricity, from what I could tell but I really don't need it. Um, the number one thing I do here is I charge my laptop. That's a big energy consumer. And I use a 12 volt car charger that's matched for that laptop to charge it off of the trailer, off of you know a battery or something like that. So, uh, you know, good thing to have in a pinch. You never know if you'll need it. It's only 150 watts. You know, a lot of people contact me and they want to know, you know, if they can run a coffee maker in here uh, you know, uh, a Hitachi magic wand or, you know, a number of other appliances here. And you're not going to do it off this thing. Uh, this is 150 watts. And when you step that up, you know, this maybe produces about an amp, uh, of power. And to run some of those appliances, you need several amps. And that's a big draw. Uh, an amp on 120 AC is a lot more amps coming out of your battery, 12 volts to step it up to that power. So do a little research, read about it. Um, you're not running a coffee maker off this battery, I'll tell you that right now. And if you do, you're not going to have much left when you're done or anything else. So uh, nothing's free. Um, if you need more details on this, I mean, I could give it. I didn't want to get into a big, uh, a big uh, discussion of uh, amp hours and electricity. Bear Grylls, Bear Grylls shirt. I saw this shirt, Bear Gorillas said, uh, this is a shirt you can depend on. This is a shirt you can depend on. You know how undependable some shirts are in survival situations. And uh, I can depend on this shirt. I don't know, maybe a button's gonna pop off another shirt. I don't know, but uh, all right. So that's the news from here, out camping, and uh, more later. If you like what you see, subscribe. I got plenty more videos about all sorts of things.